What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about rapper Sauce Walker. I've spoken about him before and how him and his uh, lady friend or girlfriend or now baby mama is making $2 million a year. And this is according to him because he's bragging about it on social media. He's bragging about how much his baby mama his new baby mama is now making and now he's gotten her pregnant and there are people that are you know kind of clowning them for it like you impregnated only fans model you impregnated uh, a uh, worker <laughs> and uh th to me man honestly in regards to sauce walker man to me he just seemed like somebody that is willing to go and get money despite how people may feel about it, how people may uh, view it. And he believes that it's worth it money wise. He feels like money wise is worth it. Um, but this is another woman who's going to have his child. And the thing that I think a lot of guys don't get, and maybe they do, when you have a child with a woman, it changes everything. It changes everything. Unless you are in a committed relationship with her, and he and I'm I'm sure he may be in one with uh, his girlfriend Bambi Doe, who is also someone who works for him. Basically, once you have a child with somebody, it changes because there are people who are saying that you know they don't understand why she's allowing him to take her money, manage her money. Why isn't she running her own OnlyFans? If she's the one making the money right but i mean he performs in some of and, and he does his own thing on only fans right but the thing is that with only fans it is a new hustle for women that may have been doing certain things outside of social media that they don't have to do anymore only fans have provided them a platform to where they can safely sell themselves on social media and he's bragging about this as if it's a good thing he he has children by other women but a lot of these guys gotta understand man everything is good everything is always good until you have children with that woman you never know the changes that that woman goes to when she has children unless she has had children before there's gonna be changes things are not gonna be the way it was and he may be excited. He feels like, you know what, he is, um, he's basically securing the bag for himself. But women change, man. And if enough women get in her ear, she's going to flip on you. That's, that's just how it is, man. Now, maybe he doesn't think it will happen. Maybe he thinks that she's going to stay loyal to him. But women is, are as loyal as their options. And if a woman feels like she has a better option, She's going to walk right outside that door. So let's get into the arc from Hip Hop DX. So it's for Houston rapper Sauce Walker, a family that makes millions off of the uh, adult work together stays together. At least that is what the ghetto gospel rapper is seemingly alluding to, alluding to fans in the comments of his recent Instagram post celebrating his baby mama Bambi's money making womb. Uh, they say pregnant box is better with the crying emoji. Sauce Walker wrote in the caption of the maternity photos carousel post. Hit the bio for new videos, popcorn, something emojis with, uh, I guess, her Instagram handle. In the midst of using IG posts to both air out his couple's pregnancy photos and plug the pay-per-view flicks, he and Bambi make Sauce Walker took things to another level when a user commented and criticized his judgment for having a child out of wedlock with cam girl Bambi. He said, this girl makes two million a year easy. He clapped back at his reply from a cell phone. What is more going for your child's future than guaranteed millions forever? Well, you know, only fans almost stopped that only fans almost put a stop to you to people making adult content and by the last second of 
social media uh, backlash, they decided to change their minds. And they only decided to change their minds because of the backlash that they have. And they're still going to implement those changes. But the OnlyFans money is not as guaranteed as they may think it is. Right? You go and you have a baby by her. And let's say OnlyFans actually grows a set and actually has a stricter terms of service guideline that y'all only seem to pick and choose when you want to uh, follow it. And they don't change their mind due to the backlash. What's going to happen then? I'm not wishing that he loses income. I'm not saying that, but you can't just rely on OnlyFans. And I'm pretty sure he does. I'm sure Sauce has money coming in from other areas, but he specifically is pointing out that Bambi is a good choice for him to be impregnating because of the amount of money that she's bringing in due to the work that she's putting in on OnlyFans. And my thing is this, what happens when changes do come and they're going to come, you know, OnlyFans is actually going to grow, grow a backbone and they're going to say, you know what? Yeah, we got to make those changes. They only temporarily halted things because of you people getting on social media, crying and complaining. You know, you got people who ain't even got an OnlyFans account complaining, which was weird. I know a lot of you, you males that got subscriptions all over the place. You were complaining. So they decided to change things. But again, nothing is really truly guaranteed. Nothing is truly guaranteed. And he's telling people in the in the comment section, why not have a kid by her? She's making me all this money. And then people are simply saying, bro, you're impregnating a cam girl. What happens if that situation don't work? What happens when things change? Because things change all the time. So, let's see. And just as millions are coming into their household, they are flowing out. Also, Sauce Walker purchased an $11 million mansion in Miami last year featuring an infinity pool and a hot tub, sprawling, sprawling uh, staircases, a full kitchen, a tiki hut, and more. See, he's made, yeah, she's making you $2 million a year, bro, but you're getting $11 million mansions. That's why I say for his sake and his situation's sake, that money better continue to come in. Because the upkeep of an $11 million mansion, and I'm sure he's making payments on it. Like, it it can't be cheap. It can't be cheap. That money should... Now, again, I don't know his financial situation. I'm, I'm just saying what I would do, investing that money into something that's going to grow. Investing $11 million, Investing in an $11 million mansion is not an investment for the future. Because he's talking about how uh, he's talking about investing in a in in a child's future. What the, what a child gonna do with you putting all this money into an eleven million dollar mansion? Unless you're gonna be renting it out, unless it's gonna be used for business purposes. You know, Sauce Walker also is expanding his record label, the Sauce Familia. Uh, along with the growth of his estate and family and recently welcomed one of his first international artists, Japanese rapper Lil Sauce White to America. He also managed to deliver four full-length projects in 2021, including his latest God of Texas album, which includes guest performances from ASAP Rocky, Trippy Red, and the whole TSF squad across 20 tracks. So again, I'm not saying that without this, he wouldn't have anything. The guy clearly is a hustler. So he's definitely going to be able to make money. I'm not saying that he wouldn't, but you know, if you're impregnating a chick because you think that she's going to guarantee you $2 million a year over her various OnlyFans pages, I'm just saying that nothing lasts, especially with social media, man. Especially when these companies, when they go corporate and they want to change the culture, OnlyFans is going to do that eventually. Eventually, they're going to make changes and they're not going to change their mind, no matter how much people complain. Okay. I think that's what people are trying to say. 
But I mean, if he's good with the situation, he's good with it. This is the this is the path he's chosen, and that's what he, that's what he's gonna do. So that's his life. That's his choice. So let me know what's in the comment section below. Oh yeah, and there were people, there were people complaining, and I said this earlier. You know, they were complaining about him managing her account. If they're in a relationship, which I'm assuming that him and Bambi are in a full length relationship, then of course he's gonna manage it because he's the businessman of the of the relationship. But the thing I, I think is that what happens when she wants more and she's gonna want more, no matter what he gives her, she's still gonna want more. She's still gonna think that she should get more. Because there's going to be even more people in her ear, especially with the child. And again, I don't know if she has any other children, but let's say this is her first child with him. It's going to change things because now you can't just live the lives of two people who just do whatever. Now there's a child involved. Now you both got to be parents on top of doing content on OnlyFans. So we'll see what happens then. So let me know the thing in the comment section below and uh, let me know your thoughts.